Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at how to make a waistband. This can be for your shorts, your skirts or for your trousers. But let's get into the video. The first step is to measure the waist. I'm taking into consideration the fly and the excess I want to overlap the fly. Here I'm showing you two different types of waistbands. The first type is the curved waist. This waist is cut in order to fit your body curves. You can't have a folded edge over here so you need to cut two different pieces. The other type is the straight waistband. This is not uh, the most preferable type as this does not give a snug fit around your waist but this is much more easier for construction. The first step in constructing a curved waist is to fold over the bottom end of the waistband. Then keep the waistband pieces right facing right and stitch the three sides leaving the bottommost side to be attached to the trouser. Here I am showing you how to make a 90 degree angle for your waistband. The trick is to stop exactly at the corner point, take a 4 ply yarn, push it against the needle, make sure it's locked in. Make one more stitch to lock the 4 ply yarn in place and push it inside. Rotate the fabric and finish the rest of the seam. Snip the excess in, in the corner to get a neater, not a very bulky finished waistband. The 4 ply yarn gives you more strength to pull um, the corner outside. This is much more better than you trying to pull the corner out using a safety pin or a seam ripper. This is much more efficient. The next step is to neatly press the finished waistband. The next step is to attach the waistband to the garment. In this case, I'm making a short. So, I've attached the back uh, crotch seam to the back point of my waistband. This gives me a better idea of where to start the waistband. Also, don't forget to top stitch the uh, edges of your waistband if your fabric is very sturdy like denim or corduroy. This will keep your waistband much more uh, sturdier. What I like to do is to attach the waistband from the inside, not from the outside. This gives me a control of where the top stitch will fall on the outside of the garment. Right. The next step is to attach the uh, belt loops. This is obviously optional and changes according to your design. I have 5 uh, belt loops coming across uh, throughout my uh, waistband. So the next step is to fix them in between the garment and the uh, waistband. The final step is to finish the entire waistband by giving the seam that's left, that's the bottom seam. So that's how you make a waistband. The same method can be used for the straight waistband as well. It's just that the fitting won't be this uh, prominent but that has nothing to do with how it is constructed. It's just the way it is pattern made. Uh, if you look carefully, the, the same method can be used for attaching your collar as well. This can be used for attaching your cuff. The only difference is the scale or the size or uh, the placement of where you are attaching it but this is the method you can use it anywhere in your design that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and hope you followed along bye